two of the biggest problems scientists had with Jurassic World were with its raptors. A lot of raptors were kind of small and lightly built. Those guys look oh. a little bit like they're on See, steroids. This, you Many dinosaurs had feathers, especially velociraptors. It fundamentally changes how you imagine these animals looked and behaved. Real velociraptor was just about the size of a poodle. But paleontologist Steve Brissotti may have a solution to both of those problems. I want something a little bit bigger and something maybe even a little bit scarier then uh, I'm very happy <laughs> for the producers to uh, go with Gen 1 law. He was on a team that recently found a close relative of the raptor in China. But it's quite a bit bigger. It's almost the size of like a, a mule, something like that. It would have been about two meters long. It would have weighed about 20 kilos. Zhen Yuanlong's significance lies in its arms, or rather wings. It really, really, really looks like the wing of birds today, the wing of an eagle, the wing of a vulture. What we've never seen before is a dinosaur of this size. This is about a two meter long dinosaur. Uh, with wings. It raises a lot of questions about the function of feathers and wings and how exactly they came about. Maybe these wings were being used for display. Think of what a peacock does with its tail. It's not flying with that tail, but it's using it to attract mates, to scare off its rivals. Or maybe this new dinosaur was using its wings to protect its eggs in its nest, or maybe for something else. But that's a good thing. For those of us that study fossils, that's a great thing because we love questions. This is now something else that we can go out and try to try to study. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.